micro computers. We need smart money. Joe will do anything to win. And I think that what happens in episode three is all about that. It's all about power. We're making this. What'd you do? We'll talk tomorrow. By the end of this year, Cardiff Electric will release to the market a truly portable computer. It's ambitious. So now that the company's been downsized in order to stay afloat, Gordon's had to weed through what is essentially a huge pool of aging system software engineers. Damn if I wait around to 11.45 to get fired by a flipping you or flipping Joe McMillan. Wait, you're firing me? He's trying to build out this team within a group of guys that he has to work with. And he's kind of wrestling with the fact that is he making the right decisions? These are the guys you chose. After I let go of 46 people this morning, something I am in no way qualified to do. The hell's that? Aaron Littlefield. I, Aaron Littlefield, venture capital. Joe wants to bring smart money into the company so they could build their PC. I dismissed him out of hand immediately. I didn't like him. Because he came in from Joe McMillan's wheelhouse. John Bosworth has very little turf at Cardiff Electric, and he's not going to give it up without a fight. Come on, Joe. We're tired of these doodad launches and corporate suites. He essentially torpedoes the deal with optimism. By God, we got heart. A can-do Texas spirit, y'all. Joe McMillan, Lulu. Joseph. Travis. Bosworth responds by setting up this meeting with Lulu, a rich Texas billionaire. John, I believe you brought a shark to my table. No, dear, just a deal. Who is an absolute no-go for Joe. I will take 80% of your PC project for 10 million. He doesn't want anything to do with her. He certainly doesn't want to be in business with her. This is insane. Bosworth was playing along with Lulu. And Lulu had us exactly where she wanted us. Getting into bed with you boys, least I can do is check the sheets and fluff the pillow. <laughs> We're not going to be partners. Joe doesn't want Lulu Motherford's money. Why's that? Because it's the kind of money that he won't be able to control. You rent your friends and repel everyone else. To his surprise, that makes her actually want to commit to the deal because she wants to challenge him and show him what's what. Oh, Travis, bring us some brandy. We're celebrating. In some ways, Sexuality is open architecture to Joe. Joe seduces Lulu's husband because he can sense that her vulnerability is him and that that is the place to strike. When Joe is forced into a corner, Joe will do anything. We decided on a port. This, for him, is the only way to get rid of Lulu Leatherford, and he's quite effective with it. Hey, what do you think of me now? You still want to be in business with me? The address calculation code, it's too long. It takes up too many bytes. Her relationship with Joe is a real struggle. Cameron, why are you here? She's starting to need Joe in order to progress in her code. I'm stuck. Sex is a huge release for Cameron, especially when it's a mental block. It's a scene very much to me about the infinite complexity of people. She's irresistible to him. Joe, very much like the PC he's building, will run any program. There's an anarchy about Joe, an instinctual, that feels right, I'm going to do that. He shouldn't be getting into this relationship with Cameron, but it feels right, and so he's just going to do it. Well, how else are we going to make room for the screen? Gordon, to execute it, that's tough sled. I know. Gordon, it's just starting to open that can of, like, I will do whatever I got to do to get it done. You know what you could do? What? In Donna and Gordon's relationship, the pattern has been, and the expectation continues to be, that she will drop anything she needs to drop in order to make sure his life can function. Piggyback it. Hey, man. You all right? He can't really pinpoint what it is that's holding him up from moving forward. He can't surround himself with naysayers, otherwise he knows he's dead in the water. Oh, no! I think it's not until he gets in the car accident that he realizes what the problem is and how he needs to move forward. You're fired. The bump to the head makes him wake up a little bit. 